Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to check out an amazing case collection made specifically for the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the original cases made by OnePlus for these devices as well as the 3D glass protector that they also released. Last but not least some cases from Olixar and of course Rink for both the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro. This is TK, let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So what I have in front of us is all of the cases and the, as well as the glass protector from OnePlus. This is the original robot one, the OnePlus robot based, and then of course the OnePlus 9 glass protector there. On the left I have all the cases from Alixar. There's a couple of options of leather as well on the back and of course a couple of bumper cases and a nice one that actually looks really good on the OnePlus 9. I'll get a chance to check that out. And of course, I do also have one case that was sent to me by Alexar by Rink. And again, this is going to be for the OnePlus 9 Pro, but should be available for the OnePlus 9. So starting it off with the Rink, mostly because I only have one case from them. Uh, this is a bumper case made specifically with the OnePlus 9. Easy insertion. Uh, there was a screen protector built in into the case itself. You do need to peel it from the inside out. But the beauty part about this is that you can actually use it and see the color uh, of your device. So whichever color you go, if you go with the green one, you're still going to be able to enjoy it. Uh, it has a bumper protection on all levels and it does have a raised lip so hopefully you guys can see it right there protects the actual optics on the back an opening for the slider everything else is pretty much exposed the way you normally expect it and uh, without any kind of question this should be basically very comfortable to use with any kind of wireless charging so let's go ahead and turn on the wireless charger and here you go works perfectly so this one is the one made by rink uh, really nice it has their name on the back uh, everything is pretty much easy to access and of course protection for the lenses on the back and an opening for the microphone at the top Switching it over to the Olixar cases. Now, there's a couple of leather cases. There's the leather, uh, more like a fake PU leather here, but it definitely looks really nice. Now, this one doesn't have a lot of, uh, like, uh, I would say, cushioning. This one does. It actually has some nice cushioning on both the back and the front. Um, also, the clip on this one actually clips all the way on the back. They're both magnetically clipped. There's a couple of holders here for credit cards. And, of course, the exact same thing on this one. And the phone sits inside of the uh, case that's already pre-adhered to the actual uh, leather case itself. Now these are made for the OnePlus 9 Pro, so I'll go ahead and insert it. Very easy. When you close it, it kind of has that nice uh, protection on both ends. Again, had, this one has more cushioning, the black one does. It has the Olixar logo on it, magnetically clipped here, and you can still set it up so that you can actually have a nice viewing angle on your smartphone when you're using it uh, just in the normal day to day. Again, credit card and an ID slot that are present very easy, and then of course you close it. Uh, exposed uh, area here for the camera. Now, unfortunately, there is no opening here for the speakers, although I would imagine it, you actually have it loud enough, you should be able to hear it. Uh, this one does have an opening for it, this one does not, uh, but it's very easy to basically open it up, connect it, and uh, just basically set it up correctly and just use your device, unlock it, use it the way you want to use it. Um, all the buttons are exposed on the right side. Uh, on the top, microphones are open. The volume rocker is on the left, although when you do have the case closed, you just need to feel for it and you're able to basically click the button and then configure it. The bottom area is also open and as you can imagine, wireless charging should not be an issue at all. Now the other leather one works pretty much the same configuration. This one for the OnePlus 9, again, same configuration. You magnetically close it on the other side. Uh, now the uh, international model of the OnePlus 9 does feature wireless charging. Let's go ahead and test it out. Of course, as you can see, wireless charging works perfectly fine and again you could just use it uh, the way you want now keep in mind again this one does have an opening for the earpiece the other one does not but again just pick the one that you feel like would be the best and this one's a little bit thinner as well and of course you can open it up this way and still be able to enjoy um, content with it and when you're done close it and everything else done now the next couple of cases are actually very nice uh, this one is actually a tpu uh, leather and nice fabric on the inside uh, and this one's made for the oneplus 9 pro very easy to insert uh, it's open at the bottom and of course easily accessible uh, it does have some protection on the camera lenses on the back you can definitely see here it makes it very much flush on the back uh, there's an opening for the uh, you notification slider power button is in there opening for the microphone and of course power volume rocker on the left um, I probably would say this one is uh, not intended to be used unless you're using it basically with a glass protector. As you notice, the glass is not actually protected. It has a little bit of a, a lip at the top uh, and a very much small one on the bottom. So you can definitely see it there. Uh, works perfectly fine with wireless charging, as you can imagine. And this one is the ExoGuard key, uh, case directly made for the OnePlus 9. Very simple, very easy. You could still see the color of your smartphone and definitely has a nice bumper around. Protects the actual optics on the back. A nice couple of raised options here on the back as well as on the front. Uh, so the display will definitely not sit on the table. And of course, as you can imagine, wireless charging should not be a problem at all. 
So there you have it, a couple of good options as well. Keep in mind, some of these cases look very similar. The optics are definitely very nicely protected, uh, but I would definitely recommend having some type of glass protector on this one specifically for the 9 Pro. But although on the 9, it looks actually pretty good and it protects it on all angles. Now, Alexar also makes the uh, Sentinel cases uh, specifically made for the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now, these actually include a package, uh, basically a combo package made specifically for the OnePlus 9 Pro. The case itself is very nice, some nice carbon fiber on the top, protection on the sides, on the camera lenses, of course, we have a nice little raised area, access to the slider, the bottom connection port, microphones are open, of course, speaker, and the top microphone. Uh, the one thing I would probably say uh, is that the glass protector that they include in here is a glass protector, but it is the style that has an adhesive all around the edges, so I'm not going to be using this one. I'm actually trying to find one that has an all around adhesive um, on the smartphone. If this is something that you're comfortable with, though, it applies very nicely, and as you can see, it actually sits very nicely on the actual device, and it doesn't go all the way to the edges. So there's an, enough of an opening at the top and enough of an opening at the bottom to allow you to actually cover the glass without having it to be uh, any you know, issues with cases. So this is definitely case friendly and they include all the necessary material to be able to apply it so cleaning the display um, although i do recommend you removing if your device does come with a pre-applied screen protector like the one i have here from oneplus uh, to remove that first otherwise you're applying a screen protector on top of a screen protector and your touch response is going to be pretty bad so now let's start taking a look at some of these cases this one is one of my favorite cases i posted about it uh, and it's basically the oneplus robot uh, and it's made specifically for the OnePlus 9 Pro. Uh, this one, to my understanding, is not available for the OnePlus 9. Looks very nice. It's a grayish color, which kind of matches the silver color that we have here on the Hasselblad edition. Uh, you can't see the device, but you can definitely see the actual robot. Looks really nice, has a pattern. It's smooth to the touch on the back, so this is not going to be ridges, so you're not going to feel any of the grooves. Although, on the inside part of the case itself, so if, let's say, you want to basically see where the grooves are, uh, they're actually present here, so you can definitely feel all the grooves in the back of the OnePlus robot. Uh, it protects the device, of course, all around, so you can put it in, snaps on, a raised lip on the top as well as on the bottom for the display, and of course, raised optic lip here to cover the optics on the back, access to the slider, power button, microphone, of course, volume rocker, and of course, on the bottom, um, the ports, basically. Um, overall, looks really nice, and I feel like it's one of the better cases that they made, and the design is definitely very unique if you're able to pick it up. Now, this one's available only through their website right now, and as you can imagine, wireless charging works as advertised. Now the next case is the uh, bumper case. This is the carbon fiber one. Very easy, very simple to use. Uh, inserts very nicely. Now there is a one specifically made for the 9 and the 9 Pro. This one is for the 9 Pro as you can imagine. Uh, a little bit of a raised lift here. You can definitely see it for the camera sensors opening here on the left, microphone on the top, opening everything on the side, and of course volume rocker. This is very similar also to the sandstone cases that we're going to check out in a second. Uh, but again, very simple, very easy. Sorry, let me just go ahead and show you guys real quick. Uh, you get the nice logo OnePlus and of course looks very very nice. Uh, it definitely provides the protection that you expect from all around uh, protection on the top front and on the back uh, of course for the sensors and the display. And of course wireless charging not a problem. Now the next couple of cases are both sandstone cases. Uh, there's two colors and there's basically the standard uh, classic OnePlus is the way I like to call it and this one's more of a greenish teal. It's uh, closer to the silver here on camera for some reason but short answer is they both work very nicely. This one's for the OnePlus 9. Very easy to insert again. And then of course the OnePlus 9 Pro. Very simple, very easy. And they both look very nice, both providing us uh, the same level of protection, the lips on the front to be able to protect, provide protection for the display, although a little bit easier on the OnePlus 9 as it's a flat display. Um, we have access to the notification slider, the power button, the microphones on the top, and of course the volume rocker here on the left. Last but not least, access to all of the main buttons on the bottom. Uh, wireless charging should be working on both of them, the OnePlus 9 Pro, as well as compatible OnePlus 9s uh, if, yours, if your device includes wireless charging. Now, the last thing we're going to check out is the tempered glass screen protector. They only have one available for the OnePlus 9. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to have one available for the OnePlus 9 Pro, but if they do, I'll make sure to make a vi separate video for you guys. Uh, the installation on this one is actually pretty simple. Uh, you do need to actually uh, take the device out of a case. They in include actually a frame uh, that will help you basically install it. So the frame goes all around the front part of your device. Uh, it's intended to basically mimic where the area, so let's go ahead and turn off the display. It mimics the area where the actual uh, glass protector is gonna be installed. Uh, they provide us all of the necessary pieces that you need. So let's go ahead and look at this. Chamois for cleaning, and of course an application tool to be able to push out any kind of bubbles uh, that are left there. And last but not least, just nice little sticky paper to remove any kind of dust. So first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is take out the, uh, the frame. And you also need to, if your device does have a glass protector or a plastic protector, as you could see, I have one already applied. So I'm gonna basically remove that one first. You cannot install a screen protector 
on top of another screen protector. So this one's actually good. There's nothing wrong with it. And as you can imagine, the display is extremely clean right now, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. Make sure you're in a nice, clean environment where there is no dust flying around. So you do this one first. You reinsert the casing or the frame around your smartphone and you give it one more look to make sure there is no dust, no issues at all. Uh, and here, this is the piece of glass. Uh, again, it is applied uh, on a, a piece of uh, basically bending glass here that you're going to be able to remove. You can kind of see it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and use my sticky pad here just to make sure that I get everything as I'm noticing. Okay, now once that's done, um, only thing you need to do is be very careful. Do not bend it too hard. Just start removing the applicator here. And, and it's simple enough, very easy. One more look to make sure that it's clean. And at this point, just align. And as you can see, it perfectly fits nicely in the frame. Just hit the center dot. And then from there on, remove the frame. And as you can see, it starts filling up the display, goes all the way to the edges. And at this point, we just need to start working out those bubbles. So let's go ahead and start working them using the applicator. It does have a nice little uh, protection fabric here so that it does not scratch the, protect, uh, the glass protector. And at this point, you just literally work the bubbles out one by one. And one thing I probably would say is if you're ever having little bubbles that are sitting in one spot, do about that 10 second push. You put your finger on the bubble once it actually is removed, give it about 30 seconds, 10 seconds or so. And then at that point, you're pretty much set to go. You can see right there, the application is actually very, very nice. It sits very close to the edge itself so that it's actually case very friendly, of course, and it applies all around. Uh, actually full adhesive on the actual display. Of course, fingerprint sensor, not a, no issues with the fingerprint sensor. Everything is pretty much the way you expect it. And of course, as you can imagine, we're firstly, works perfectly fine with any case. And um, of course, just complements the OnePlus 9 Pro. My hope is that you're able to find one of these cases appealing to your style. Of course, the glass protector, as I shared with you guys at the end, it's actually pretty simple to install. Just literally remove the existing protector, put the frame on, apply it, and then go through, remove the frame once you have it sitting in the right spot so that it allows the adhesive to go through. And it is a full adhesive uh, protector. Now, I didn't see one for the OnePlus 9 Pro. Hopefully they'll have one soon from them. If they do, I'll definitely make a separate video for you guys. Uh, but otherwise, I think the cases and the selections that we got from them are actually very nice. The first party cases are always, always going to be the best cases that we can get. Olixar makes some amazing cases. And of course, there is that glass protector for the 9 Pro. Although keep in mind, it is purely an adhesive all around the display. It's not full adhesive. And for that reason, I decided not to install it on mine, although it does seem to actually have a decent fit. Uh, at the end of the day, though, if you're looking for a specific case, there's a lot of them on the market. Rink make uh, The Rinka case that I have there, hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, looks really, really nice. And again, it just lets you see and enjoy the color of your device, uh, depending on the one that you picked up, of course. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one.